Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And I'm Katie from That's What She Said. And today we're going to take a look at one of the expansions for Tonto Quare called... Oktoberfest. We're going to talk about the Oktoberfest expansion specifically for Tantacore and the differences between it and the base game of Tantacore. So if you're not familiar with how to play that game, we're not going to do a huge playthrough, but if you go to the I in the corner, you'll be able to click a link to a video that Jason already did of how to play Tantacore. So let's talk about the Oktoberfest expansion. So, um, Oktoberfest is the second expansion for Tanto Quarry, I think. I think it was Expanding the House and then um, Oktoberfest. That sounds right. And this game is for two to four players. It's from Japan Anime Games. I think you can play in about an hour. All the games we played have been about an hour. Yeah, pretty quick. Uh, depends who's playing, but it should be no more than an hour. <laughs> right. Um, so this adds a few different elements to the game. It has all the base game play of getting some maids, putting them in your private quarters to score points. But this adds a few other elements if you want to talk about those. Yeah. Um, in this game, since it's Oktoberfest theme, you are kind of working around this idea of having like a beer festival. So in doing so, you're going to have try to get beer yourself. And there's kind of a set collection element of different types of beer, pilsners, or alt beers, what have you. Um, there's also beer stands. There's um, cards where you can actually protect your beer and put it in, um, what's it called? Uh, an beer actual fest. Beer fest for yourself. Um, so that you can keep that beer safe from being stolen. However, when you're doing that, all that beer has a blood alcohol level. And there are other cards that come up in the beer deck that kind of can affect that or that will have you maybe discard cards if your blood alcohol level is too high or give a card to somebody else. Um, so there's also the playing maids, moving them, gathering points that way. But you're also getting points through your beer and then making sure you have a good amount of beer but not too much so that you're drunk and you have to give away your beer. Yeah, and there's also a few different uh, event cards. Let me drink. I'll, I'll do a little section later on showing you some of the different cards, but there are three different event cards, and I'll show you some of the beer cards that Katie was just talking about. But, yeah. So the events can either be helpful, like ways to get more beer cards, ways to um, kind of take a gamble and get some beer cards from somebody else, or they can work against you. Um, there's a card that's a heavy storm. So if you have, you're have you having a beer fest and there's a heavy storm, it's not going to turn out well. And that can negate some points from another player. So that's where the player interaction comes in this game that you don't see as much in the base Tonto Quarry game. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, you were hitting me a lot with those stupid uh, heavy storms that were irritating. Yeah. I thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah, so this has a little bit more take that than the base game which mm -hmm. I don't love, but you can negate it. There's anything that someone throws on you, you can fix it by spending love cards or discarding some cards. So it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. So let's take a look at some of that artwork and we'll show you some of the specific cards. All right, so there's gonna be no playthrough on this video, just a little bit of a spotlight on some of the artwork. So I'm going to take a look at some of the beer cards, the new event cards, and one of each of the maids, and also what the new version of the love card looks like, just so you can have a comparison to the previous videos. So the first card I wanted to look at is Pilsner. This is from the new beer mechanic. So the Pilsner looks like this. It's a cute little anime girl with a big mug of beer. And in this card, you're trying to collect as certain number of these to score the pile of points that are listed on the bottom. And it also has an alcohol content of two, which could come in to play later. Here's a beer stand. You can get that in the card. Also another cute little anime girl. Not offensive in any means. And this one's going to let other players buy beer cards for a certain amount of love. Uh, get drunk. This is one of the ones that shows up 
sometimes that does bad things to you if you have a certain number of alcohol content. So that's where you want to make sure that you're not above nine because you will get drunk and lose beer cards, lose points. Here's an out beer. I think that's how you say it. And it's worth four points and has three alcohol content. Nothing special there. There are a few other beer cards, but they're all similar to that. So I just wanted to highlight those. Here's a new building. It's a beer fest. You can buy this with some love and you can put it on top of one of your previous beer cards and it's safe from events or any other things that the other player may want to do to you. Here's a new event. It's Envy. Looks like that. And it does all employee costs of made cards are increased by one. So you'll throw that in another player and they have to spend more money to hire maids. Then get rid of it by spending returning a maid card back to the town. So all these event cards you can get rid of pretty easily. Just annoying. Heavy Storm. This one you're going to put on top of your beer fest and it's going to make all the cards under that pile worth no points. You have to discard a three love card to make that go away. Uh, let me drink. These two people getting drunk. And um, put it in your private quarters. Discard a love card from your hand and remove card from game if you do take a beer card from any player's, player's private quarters. So that's kind of one of those take that cards that I was talking about earlier. Here's this set's love cards. This is a two love. It's actually kind of less risque than some of the other ones. This is just two of the beer winches drinking some beer. Uh, now we're going to go into some of the maids. This is where the art starts getting a little controversial. Uh, here's Nicole. Not as crazy as some of the other art, but getting there. Uh, here's Kaori. I really like this card. I think the art is cool. The way that it's drawn. I want that artist to do more. Ute. I don't know how to say these names. Eileen, this one may be one that you don't want to use with kids. <laughs> um, same with Renata. Anna, she just looks like a, a normal little maid. Karika Von Heidemann. Looks like she's out of the sound of music. Kind of nice. Julia. Sarah. Gina. Some of these names I can say, okay. Nadia. She lets you get the beer cards, so she has... She's one of the big cards that help with the new mechanism of the game. Nora. Tony. Hermina, I think that's how you say that. She has blue hair. Elsa. And here are the chambermaid chiefs. We have Matilde. She's the one that you're going to start out when you're starting 10 cards. You'll have three of her. And then Anya, who are six points, and that's what she looks like. So that's a little bit of art in the game. Now let's go up to the top and get some more thoughts of what we think about this. So those are some of the cards that you'll find in the expansion of the game. I really love Tonto Cory, the base game. As Jason's mentioned on the podcast and I've mentioned in some of my videos, it's ranked really high. I believe it's in my top 10 um, games of all time because I love deck builders and I have this affinity with anime. So there's something about this game that really draws me in. Um, one of the things that as I mentioned before is as a feminist, um, some of the artwork is a little um, promiscuous. A little might be an understatement. Um, <laughs> and this expansion is no exception. Um, there are some maids that could do with some extra clothing and they might get quite cold at Oktoberfest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which I highlighted in the previous section. Right. Um, so that that still continues. It's just the style. Um, they have more of their little, like, 
um, Austrian kind of costumes, uh, lederhosen type things that you'll yeah. see. Um, but otherwise, it's still very much the Tanto Koi artwork. However, I do love the addition of the beer cards and the beer stands and the beer fest and the other um, events you can play on other people. I think that adds a really great element. So it kind of ups your game a little bit. I'm not just looking for maids that I'm chambering or how they interact. I'm looking for, okay, how, what maids get me beer cards and what kind of beer cards do I need? And how far ahead is the other person getting? Can I like slap them around a little bit with an event card? Um, and so spending your love um, becomes a little bit more of a challenge and more of a thinking experience. And so I really like that about this game. Yeah, my favorite part of it is the beer deck and mostly because it adds some some randomness because the beer deck is face down. So when you draw a card, you don't know what it is. It's going to be a little bit of random. Some of them are good for you. Some of them are not good for you, which, you know, when you're spending money to buy a maid or hire a maid to let you get a beer card, you want something that's good. So you might get something that causes you to get drunk and you lose some cards and it's just awful. But it adds a little bit of enjoyment and I like that. And I also like the beer fest cards. They just are a little building that give you some points mm -hmm. and protect your beer. So it plays like normal Tanto Quarry, which again, I love. You can right. see that in my other video if you hit the eye up there. And yeah, so this is no exception. It's yeah. the same game, adds that little bit of randomness that I like and enjoy. So yeah, I approve of this one as well. Yeah, so if you like Tanto Quarry, you like deck builders, I'm positive that you will enjoy the expansion um, Oktoberfest. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, find us on Facebook, YouTube. See and you soon. Keep gaming. Keep gaming.